Rachel Tessman from StampYourArtOut.com and today I'll be showing you some alternate project ideas that I came up with using the contents of the May 2015 My Paper Pumpkin Kit from Stampin' Up! titled Birthday Bundle. In this kit you get enough supplies to make six cards and four matching gift bags. You can put them together as is according to the directions and be ready for some upcoming birthday celebrations. Or you can use some of my ideas that I'll show you in today's video and create something completely outside the box. Paper pumpkin kits include everything that you need. The stamps, the ink, the pre-cut and scored cardstock, embellishments, special adhesives, and full directions with a link to a how-to video from Stampin' Up! Maybe you've seen these fun kits before, and maybe you haven't, but in either case, if you want to try them out for yourself and you are a new subscriber by June 10th, you will be able to save 50% off your first two kits when you enter this promo code. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and this is just one of the many creative products our company offers. It's one of my favorites because it's affordable, filled with lots of goodies, and comes right to my mailbox each month. I love to get creative with the items inside, so I share all sorts of fun projects for each month's kit in videos and on my blog. And I share even more ideas privately with those who subscribe choosing me as their demonstrator. Not a subscriber yet? You'll want to be after checking out what can be created with these very affordable kits. I'm excited to share. So let's get started. Keep in mind, most of the extra tools that I use in this video can be purchased from me in my online store. For our first project, which is going to be a Project Life layout, you'll need, of course, Project Life page protectors, the pocket pages. I'm using the variety pack, a paper trimmer, rhinestones, glue dots, which you might have from past paper pumpkin kits if you're already a subscriber, and of course, scissors or snips. We call these paper snips. Some adhesive. This is our snail adhesive. And then you'll also need um, a yellow colored stamp pad. I'm using Daffodil Delight. Um, and a, a luxury item would be a sponge or a sponge dauber. The first step for the page is to carefully undo one of the bags. And I'll just have to go along the seam and try to tear apart all the, the portions of the bag so that you have um, a bag that's opened up and I've already cut mine apart, but a, a full bag that's nice and flat. It's a pretty large piece of cardstock when you lay the whole thing out. And what's wonderful about the bag when you measure it is that you've got six inches from side to side on each of the fullest sections. So that's perfect for Project Life layout. So I took this section here and cut out a portion um, that's four by six. Or six by four. Um, I made sure that I cut along that seam though first. There's an extra seam on that back side of the bag that's right towards you know the bottom and you'll want to cut there. And I also took a scissors and I cut because sometimes using a trimmer if you do have a, a not so sharp blade it might fray. So use the scissors to cut along the score lines and then you can take and use your trimmer to finish it off. So I did, did that section and then on the other panel, the front part of the bag, where you see these two sections here, the two, the two balloons, I cut out um, a 12 or a, I'm sorry, a 4 by 6 section and then cut it in half. And the balloons um, are pretty even in those two areas. So now, in addition to the bag, you'll need other sections from the kit. You'll need an envelope, one of the orange balloons, um, a couple portions of one of the full card bases, so this is a 3 by 4 section and this is just a strip that is 3 quarters of an inch wide and it's just so that we can layer one of these banners on there. You'll need two of the banners and you'll also need one of these um, decorative strips to make, when we make those cards. You'll need one of those and then you'll also need some of the t um, twisted twine. So what I did with the balloon after cutting it out is I also took and trimmed along the edge of that balloon right along here. I just trimmed right along the edge. I'll hold that up so you can see it. And I cut out a little section that looked like the shine for a balloon. Can you see that there? So I took and cut this portion out and then cut it in, in um, into two sections. And now we have something to add to our balloon to make it not look so flat anymore. 
gives it a little more 3D look. Also, I took the, the twine and I unraveled it. It's twisted. It's two layers of twine actually twisted together. And you, if, if you unravel it, you have two different colors. So um, you'll just carefully tw untwist that. And then for each of those sections, I also um, untwisted so that I had a thinner layer. So you can see I took that and ha put it in half and did the same thing with the white section. Just take and pull it apart halfway down so that you're having thinner twine. Okay. After that I took and tied a couple bows and let's start putting the page together. For this piece, I cut part of the envelope up so that I had a 3x4 panel. And I'm going to ink up just a portion of this stamp to decorate our other banner. And there's our finished Project Life page. The fun thing about this page is that you have these little holes here where you can put photos behind so that you have someone's face peeking through on this birthday page layout. Or if you didn't want to do that, the kit does come with this tissue paper and you could just put a panel of that behind each of the, the balloons so that you have yellow balloons standing out. Or even the back of the card that you didn't use. You could have dark blue balloons. But I thought that was a fun layout can add pictures here, 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 and behind the two. You can also spread these out into two layouts because as a lot of you Project Lifers know, you don't typically have this many pieces in one um, page protector. You add more photos and you just have a few of these, so this could really fill up a spread, a two-page spread. Okay, next project. For this next project, we're going to make a cute gift card holder. I got the idea from Terry Gaines, a fellow demonstrator, who is very clever, by the way. Um, we're going to cut a two-inch strip from our card base, so it's two by eight and a half. Now, I've already used a portion of a card base already in my last project that I showed you. I used this three by four section here and a couple strips that were three quarters of an inch wide. And so I'm going to use this two inch wide strip from that section so I'm not using up too much of my cards. I'm also going to use this little strip here because it's so cute and we'll use um, a piece of that for a layer as well. The first thing that we need to do for stamping is to stamp this happy birthday image on one of our circles that's already pre-cut in our kit. And then we're going to layer it onto our blue. This is Island Indigo, by the way. It matches the ink that we have in the kit. And then for a fun layer, we're just going to do little divots. Now, if you have a circle punch, you could totally go in and punch portions of your circle edges all the way around but I am trying to show you all how to do it with less. I always try to use as few supplies as possible 
um, so that those of you that do not have a lot of Stampin' Up! supplies don't have to invest too much in making these alternate projects. So there we go. We just have a fun little layer that looks kind of like a sunshine. The next step is to take um, one of our envelopes and we're going to cut a 5 by 3 inch panel from that. So you just need a 5 by 3 section of thinner paper. It doesn't work so well with cardstock to do this because you're going to wrap around. So we're going to fold this in half, we're going to wrap this around. The first step though before we wrap around is I'm going to introduce to you a punch. This is our scallop tag topper punch and it fits two inch wide pieces of cardstock. We're going to slip that in, punch both sides, both ends of this. So now we have a fun little look to the top. Then we're going to wrap this around the front but we have to first insert our gift cards so that we know how wide to have that wrap around. So we're just going to put our gift card inside here like this. Then we're going to wrap and wrap. And you want to have it loose. You want to have it somewhat loose. It's not tight. And we're going to go ahead and um, put some a strip of adhesive in the back here. Now one of the reasons we want to have it loose is because we want our gift card to be able to slide in and out, but we're also going to put a couple other pieces inside here. We're going to put some twine and that's going to help to pull the gift card out and we're also going to put an extra little card inside there that comes out with the gift card. Okay. To add a little more zap of color, I have taken the yellow tissue paper and I've cut um, a section that is 5 inches wide by just a little under 3 inches. We're going to use that on here as well for a layer. And then for the piece that goes inside, we're going to cut just more from our scrap envelope there that we cut up. We're just going to cut a section. Let's make it as wide as a gift card. We'll just make it a little over two inches wide by a little under three and a half inches. So we'll make it fit the gift card here. Perfect. And then we'll stamp this and we'll add this on here. So I've finished wrapping the panel around and you can see a little bit of adhesive under there because the tissue paper is thinner but um, we're not too worried about that because this is going to go on the front and on the back side nobody cares. <laughs> Um, here is the card that I decorated for the inside. I just took and stamped celebrate a little diagonally to kind of to match the stripes that are going on on the on the pattern of the paper. Um, that way you can see these fun little scrolly things. The to and from is at the bottom and then that's where I added that extra strip of striped paper. So now we um, go ahead and put all of this together. We've got some twine ready to go. Let's um, take and add some of the orange twine and I'm going to go ahead and unravel so that I have half of it. I don't want it to be too thick going in. We're going to stick that through the hole of both of the tag pieces. You can see this is very loose on here. That's perfect. Um, and we want that to be um, long enough. Here you can see from the bottom here. We want it to be long enough where we can tie a little closure at the top and it still has enough for for pulling on because this is going to disappear down into our gift card holder. So we've got a gift card, we've got our two from tag, we're putting that inside like that and then these two should come together evenly and if they don't you can always shift and adjust and then we're going to tie these together We're going to add this on with some dimensionals from the kit. And I have to apologize because there is a step I forgot to tell you about. <laughs> but we can, we can fix it. Um, we forgot to attach this piece here to the back of the card. 
but I'll show you how to fix that real quick. So let's attach this to the front, nice and centered. Let's pull our gift cards out for a second so it's nice and loose. And I'm going to add some adhesive just be back here because we want we want this to stay in place here. So now that we've got it in position and it's centered enough, now you can clamp it down. There, now this yellow panel will not flop, fall off the... I'm so sorry about that. I forgot that step. Okay, now we can go ahead and add this back in. So just insert it into here. So there, now you know how to get these in and out. So you can always sign the gift card later. You can make it now and sign it later. And then we just need a little bit of an embellishment on our eye of our birthday. There. Now we have a cute gift card holder. Celebrate and then they can pull out the gift card behind them and say, oh my gosh, now I have all these iTunes. Okay, here's a couple of other gift card um, holder ideas. This one was given to me by Terry. Isn't that adorable? She put a little scalloped, um, or actually this is not the scallop circle, this is one of our flower punches and she layered a bunch of them, um, got them wet first, layered a bunch of them, and then they dried in this nice stiff position so they look like a full flower. I just think that's gorgeous. So there's one that she made. And then here's one that I did for um, an event that we did recently. And this one actually has a full card inside so when you open it up you have a little message too. Fun ideas. So there's that. Next project. I was shopping the other day in Target and found these adorable little window clings in the dollar spot section and I thought wow this color is perfect. It matches the bags and the bright colors of the kit are just really great at coordinating with this product. So I bought a couple of these and we're going to decorate that up as a little gift to the teachers for the end of the school year. Um, this bag here that we used in the Project Life page we cut up and we have all of these pieces here that we still need to make some use of. So I found this one here. This is that the side of the bag and it fits perfectly over the top of this little topper here. So we're going to use that and that's going to cover that. First we're going to stamp this little banner though with our Daffodil Delight, our yellow color that we added in. Um, we're going to do that with the Celebrate. And then we're going to stamp one of these tags that come in the kit with to from. This way the boys can write their name and their teacher's name on there. And then we have this squiggly little design. We're going to add that in. There we go. Now we have a fun little design there. Let's just add a rhinestone in the center of that little loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay, those pieces are done for now. We're going to bring in our circle piece. Open up this stamp pad again and pull out the dauber. Daubers are great for making circular patterns. You can just take and sponge on little dots like this and have a fun background. But we're going to take and start in the center of the circle and we're going to go around and around because we want our circle to get larger. We want it nice and large and we want it to soften in color as it goes outward. Okay, kind of to look like a sun. Let's see if we can get that a little more even. There we go. Now let's go ahead and add some of these to our window clings. And then we're going to add our sunshine, but we're going to add it behind. So you put adhesive along the bottom 
and then center it between your celebrate so it looks like a sun rising isn't that cute okay and then we need the rays of the sun so we have this little strip of um, rhinestones that comes on your rhinestone sheet and there are 21 rhinestones in a row so if you take and divide that you have seven groups of three or three groups of seven we'll stop we'll start at the top of our sunshine and we will build outward with little rays So I did top, the sides, and then I'm trying to do a couple in between here, evenly. <laughs> there we go, that's a little better. And that should equal seven. Yay! All right, then we've got some twine, and again, this is... I, I'm not a big fan of the thick stuff, I guess. I um, unraveled it and then separated it in half, so we just have um, half of the white in here instead. I'm going to bring that through. Pull them both together. Do an overhand knot. So they're going to have to fight over who gives what to which teacher here. we got two boys. All right. So there we go. Aren't they adorable? i got to show you the sunshine up close. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I have one more fun idea to show you on today's video. This is one of two videos. You'll want to check out the second one for sure. Okay, so I've got a card base here, and I've got this strip that we normally put on the front of the card and the balloon from the bag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the card this way instead, and I'm going to flip this over. Now, you're probably shocked because that looks really boring, but we are going to see a lot of color here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take the front of this card, the, the dark blue panel, and we're going to score it so it's in half at two and an eighth. Oops, use the scoring blade. There we go. And then we're going to fold that back onto itself. So we have the front of our card looking like this. It's a Z fold. Okay. Now we want to stamp the top portion of this because this will be shown on the front. So we want to see some balloons up there. I'm going to take the balloon image from this stamp set. And we're going to ink that up a few times and put some balloons on the background. All right, next we're going to stamp the word celebrate on the white side of this strip of cardstock. We're going to add that to the front of our card, and we need to add it a little bit high. Can't put it right in the center because we don't want it to show when the card is closed. So it needs to be above the top half, or the, it needs to be above the half halfway mark. There we go. And then we can add our balloon. And then we can add some string onto our balloon. I do want to add another one of those little shiny parts. So I'm going to show you again how I did that. So I'm going to cut really close. I'm going to start away and come in close and then I'm just going to follow the lines of the balloon here. And cut straight across. And then you just cut that into two portions. And that's how you can easily cut out a little shiny part to your balloon. 
And there's our Celebrate Birthday card. Just a little different take on the whole card that you could get in the kit. And we didn't have to add anything extra. Ta-da! Now I'd like to share with you all the projects that I did in parts one and parts two of this video. Here are the traditional scrapbook pages, the Project Life page. Let's see if we can fit this in here so you can see most of it. Fun gift bags. There's our little guy. And here's the one that you put a tea light in. Probably an electronic one. <laughs> and then we had more of a box-like bag, the one with the open top that you can see the bubbles through. Some fun gift ideas for the teachers. Little sunshines on there. Also did this alternate card idea, a Z fold, and this fun gift card holder, which would be great at this time of year for people who are graduating or have birthdays. <laughs> and then of course there are the bag and card that you're supposed to be making with this kit, but we like to think outside the box. If you missed any of these projects, be sure to check out the other video that goes along with it. I did two parts for this kit this month. And I also have another bonus card that I will be featuring on my blog. Thank you for watching. It builds creativity to think outside the box. Be sure to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe so that you can catch more paper pumpkin videos that I've shared using past kits and more that I'll share with future kits. Also be sure to visit my blog at stampyourartout.com so that you can view close-up photos of all these projects and see photos of other paper pumpkin kit ideas. Then, of course, to see some exclusive projects, get your Paper Pumpkin subscription started with me as your demonstrator. Remember that through June 10th, it is 50% off for the first two months for new subscribers. I hope you all enjoyed this video tutorial. Now I'd like you all to go and stamp your art out. Bye-bye.